but there's more than that is happening. For example, I had Jim Hansen or James Hansen, a very famous climate scientist who testified to Congress in 1988 warning about we're about to see global warming sort of emerge from the noise of weather and it's going to have a big impact and all these things are going to happen. And he, he was right about all of them. Yeah. Um, so one, he was on my program talking about how something called the equilibrium climate sensitivity Mm -hmm. I'll explain what that yes, is. In I moment. watched that program. Yes. Yeah, is 4.5 degrees Celsius instead of what the uh, United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change thinks is around three degrees. Mm -hmm. So, what, what does that even mean? So, the climate sensitivity is how much the world warms for a given amount of CO2. And when you say ECS, what the the measurement is if you double CO2, how much would the world warm? That's the measure double CO2, how much would the world warm? So the IPCC thinks it's three degrees of Celsius. And Jim's saying, here are three different ways we know that the number is really 4.5, 50% more warming for a given amount of CO2, right? Which means there's a lot more warming on the way than we think. And you say, well, wait a second. The temperature is what the temperature is today. And if the warming was more than we think, why would the UN think, how does that all work? That it should be higher than, we should be measuring it higher today. It says no, because there's one other piece. The aerosols are sort of the smoke particles from ships and coal plants that we put into the atmosphere. That reflects sunlight. And it also seeds clouds, which reflect sunlight. And that cools the earth. And it turns out that the cooling from aerosols is also more than is estimated in the climate models from the United Nations. And so when you put those two things together, the United Nations thinks there's sort of this much of warming and this much of cooling if you get the measured temperature today. But Hansen is saying, no, there's this much of warming and this much cooling. And so it's still the same number today. Yeah. But it also means as we clean up our air pollution, which is something we are in the process of doing around the world, China putting uh, scrubbers on their coal plant to scrub out sulfur particles. Uh, the International Maritime Organization recently passed a rule that ships had to use cleaner fuel so they create less pollution. All of those things are causing the temperature to accelerate in the last few years. And, and so this is really important stuff. It's hardly covered in the media at all.